guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Because we're going into summer in the UK, I thought I'd, I'd do this look right here. I've done a pink shimmery lid and a blue waterline, smudge it out a little bit and I've paired that with a pink nude lipstick. So without further ado, let's get on with it. To start off with, I will wash and moisturise my face with the Lizil Hot Cloth Cleanser and Moisturiser. I'm then going to take Benefit's Professional Primer to smoothen out the skin and fill in any pores. I have then applied L'Oreal's Infallible 24 hour matte foundation in the shade Rose Beige and applied some concealer, my favourite which is NARS's Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. And I am now going to bronze up my face with the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer. Now that I've bronzed up my face, I'm going to apply some blush. This is a blush that I picked up ages ago, um, I'm not even too sure where I got that from, but I'll try and find um, a similar one and I'll leave it in the description box below. I'm going to apply this with an angled brush um, to the apples of my cheeks. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to start by defining my crease with the colour Caramel from the Lorac Mega Pro Palette. I'm taking this on a big fluffly, fluffly, fluffy blending brush um, and doing small windscreen wiper motions. Now to add in some colour, I'm taking this beautiful tattoo eyeshadow by Maybelline in the colour Pink Gold and I'm going to apply this with a small flat brush um, all over the lid. To enhance the pigment on the lid, I'm going to be taking the colour blush, which is a beautiful pink shimmery shade from the same palette as we were using before. Um, this is going to just make that pink shade stand out even more and also help to keep that tattoo eyeshadow in place all day. And I'm also taking that on the same brush as we used before. Moving on to the waterline, I'm going to take this really pigmented blue eyeliner from Bourjois and I'm going to apply that along the waterline and just underneath and then I'm going to smudge it out a little bit with a small pencil brush. Eyebrows, I will be using three different products. I'm going to start by creating the shape that I want um, with Max Eyebrow Pencil. I'm then going to deepen up the colour with L'Oreal's Brow Shaper. 
on the outer edges of my brows and then lastly taking a powder to set this and also fill in the inner sections of my brows. This is going to give that lovely ombre look. I am then going to apply a little bit of mascara and some false lashes before finishing up the rest of my face and adding a little bit of lipstick. my lashes I'm going to move on to lips I'm going to be taking two colors by Mac and um, so I'm going to apply the color please me all over the all over the lips and then I'm going to be taking creme de nude I'm just going to apply that in the inner um, section of my lips just to make my lips look a little bit fuller And lastly to finish off I'm going to apply some highlighter. I'm going to apply this to the highest points of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, on my forehead, the cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin and then the look is finished. for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!